every military force on the ground was looking for Saddam Hussein. We pulled down the statue of Saddam. But in order to have a decisive military victory, we needed the real Saddam. Coalition governments have identified a list of key regime leaders, 55 individuals who may be pursued, killed, or captured. The special operations forces could go into the most dangerous target and do it at zero to minimal casualty because of their skills. Their focus was really HVTs high-value targets. We would get information that was bad information. They would identify a location, there would be nothing there, the wrong individual, the individual was someone that someone else disliked for whatever reason. For the amount of detainees we were pulling off target, we needed someone that could conduct the interrogations to ensure we were getting the information we wanted. The war's going on for three months, and I get orders that I'm gonna go join this task force I'd never heard of. To do. I didn't know, but I packed my bags and they flew me to Tikrit. And I am picked up by these soldiers with beards. Soldiers don't have beards. We didn't know Eric. Hadn't worked with him previously. And initially it was a bumpy road. As the interrogator, I work for a commander. I bring in the information that helps him make better decisions. I was learning how to get inside the minds of these prisoners and break them down. When I'm talking about breaking a prisoner, it has nothing to do with physical contact of any kind. It has to do with breaking their previous decision of not cooperating with me to provide me information, and now they choose to provide me that information. That's a break. It became a big piece of our day-to-day -day life of using those interrogations. Every individual you talk to can give you something you didn't know. That was a trick Eric figured out, that if you can store it, it can become value later. You never know till much later what details really matter. My entire tour in Crete was going to come down to my last two and a half hours. Time was running out, but I would not stop looking for Saddam.